We want to build a church that welcomes all people because welcoming is at the heart of the evangelization, the mission of our church, of our parish, and we welcome all people, we welcome Christ. And in welcoming them, we help them to see Christ in us, and we see Christ in them, and that is how we build church while building the church. A new church for Immaculate Conception Parish, a church suitable for the universal modern liturgy, yet one that still honors our local traditions. A church with room to grow. Funding must be in place before we can build the new church. This means we need 30% cash in hand, 35% pledged, with the other 35% financed through the Diocese of Belleville. All three pieces must be in place before we can start building. Parishioners have already committed millions of dollars, but gaps remain. There are two things we must do. Think of the two sides of our current church, the Mary side and the Joseph side. Our patroness, Mary Immaculate, nurtured the Holy Family. Remembering Mary's selfless giving, we must fill the gaps in our current funding through additional donations and pledges. St. Joseph worked hard to build a good life for Mary and Jesus. Just as he applied his skill as a carpenter, we must hold down costs for the project through careful planning and through the volunteer efforts of our community's skilled trades. It all adds up to a new church. If we do these two things, fill the gaps and hold down costs, we can ensure a new beginning for Immaculate Conception Parish. Liturgically correct, accessible and welcoming to people of all ages and abilities. My favorite idea about church comes from the Acts of the Apostles where they're described as a community of believers, a community that believes in Jesus as the risen Lord from whom we get our vision, our mission, and identity. And it's this community that needs a place to worship. That's the church building, really the house for the church that remains empty if the church isn't really there. With your help, Immaculate Conception Parish can break ground in 2009 and open the doors in 2010. We believe in Christ, the divine builder, who calls us to build a community of faith, worship, and service to nourish generations of believers. Therefore, through consensus and peace, with rather reverence and respect for all, we commit the work of our hands to build a church that honors God by welcoming all people. Amen! Amen. I'm Father Carl Scheer, and I approve of this message.